today is one of those days where I'm using Microsoft Office for Mac 2011. Even though 2014 is already in the second half, 2011 is the version that we're getting. And every time I open it, because it doesn't really happen very often, usually Microsoft Word or Excel or any of the others try to update themselves. So you can also go to the Help menu bar and say Check for Updates. Then as soon as that happens, this window pops up. Usually I have it set to automatic and it offers to install updates. So I'm going to do this manually here and I'm presented with this window. Usually once a week, another 100 megabytes of security patches need to be applied. And you think, hey, okay, that shouldn't take long. So I click install, the update downloads, and I should just be able to apply this. But if you're watching this video, you probably know that that's not quite the case because we're dealing with a Microsoft product here, which in itself isn't so bad, but sometimes it just doesn't work well with Apple products. So I don't know if Microsoft doesn't want us to install these updates or Apple are preventing this from happening, but clearly this is way too complex and I'm gonna show you a way around this. There we go, this is the Microsoft Updater. You can, in fact, close Word altogether in the background here. In fact, that's what you have to do. Also, when I say close, I don't want the window to open. I really want this app to close, one of those things. Hey? Anyway, so we'll go and say continue. That's fine, we agree to whatever. And we say that's also fine. After the 11th mouse click, you get to the install button and you think, okay, apply this thing, and then the app comes up with this. These applications must be closed before the software can be installed. Microsoft Database Daemon app, Safari, and Sync Services Agent. And you think, okay, Safari, I know what that is. That's my web browser, I can close that. But no matter how hard I try, these other two, Database Daemon and Sync Services Agent, they just don't want to close. There are several suggestions of what you can do to close these things, and none of them have actually worked for me. I've written an article in which this video is embedded that describes this process. So people suggest rename these processes. Log out of your Mac, then log back in with the shift key held down. Go offline just before this message comes up or kill these processes in the activity monitor utility. None of this works. One person on, in fact, on the Apple forum, I didn't find any solutions that worked on the Microsoft uh, community website, has suggested, well, just use this on the command line. And I understand not everyone's comfortable with using these command line tools, so I thought I will, I will show you how this works because this is the only effective method of how you can actually update Microsoft Office for Mac 2011. This is a bash loop which will look for these processes and keep killing them because if I kill those manually, they will just come back. They're like uh, they're like a pest. They're like this this wild weed that you're trying to kill, and it's always coming back up. All we need to do is you copy this line. I've I've pasted this in my article here. This entire thing. Make sure you mark this entire line, and then just go and copy it. Head over to Applications and open your terminal window. This is what it looks like. So I'll put this right next to here. And what we can do now is literally just hit Command V to paste that entire line in there. And as soon as you hit Return, this is going to come up with a lot of output. And as you can see, out of a sudden, the uh, installer is prompting me for my password here, which means now it was successful in detecting that both those services are killed and it can now go ahead with the installation. Great, let me type in my password and see if this works. So during this time, you just have both these services open and this kind of, you know, goes between grep and awk and bash, and that's totally fine. Just leave it running while the installation completes. Good old Microsoft countdown here. It takes me seven minutes. Oh no, actually five seconds. No, wait, seven days. No, hang on, it's about a minute left. Ridiculous. There we go, Microsoft Office Updater has finished. This is all good, we can close this now. And luckily the automatic update hasn't found another update while we were applying it. So just close this and now Office should be updated. The only thing that we need to do here is to um, make sure this terminal session gets closed properly. So uh, don't just close the window. 
hold down the control key while pressing C at the same time. And this on any command line tool will just quit out of that loop. And now you can go and close this. There, I know you won't be able to remember that line of code. I can't remember that line of code. So the easiest thing is to go to my website wpguru.co.uk and obviously by the time you're looking for it it probably won't be the first article on the website so just use the search function here and search for update office and that should bring that article right up if you want any more funky tips and tricks in the future don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with friends family and total strangers bye for now i will see you next time